The modern cities of the world are pretty great, if we're honest with ourselves. We've got subways, hot dog stands, the sexeteria, you name it. But some cities of the ancient world would have been pretty nifty too. At least they were, until they were destroyed by invading armies, floods, and God knows what. From a settlement where the people lived in honeycombs, to a city full of secrets destroyed by a conqueror. This is our list of seven mysteriously lost great cities. In at number seven, Machu Picchu. The mountain city of Machu Picchu in Peru was built by the Incas sometime around the 15th century, with their incredible architectural exploits still evident from the ruins which remain on a mountain ridge thousands of meters above sea level. Machu Picchu is home to several intriguing mysteries, including the fact that it had no marketplace at all. Marketplaces were a common theme among Incan settlements, so we're still not quite sure where they bought and sold things. Maybe it was all online. Who knows? We sure don't. Because we still haven't deciphered their old tapestry records, which might give us a clue. But Machu Picchu makes this list because only a century after it was built, this glorious mountain city was completely abandoned. Many thought this was due to the Spanish conquests which took place around the same time, but the Spanish had no idea of its existence, and neither did the rest of the world until an American historian rediscovered it in 1911. So why did the Incas leave? Scared of heights all of a sudden? At 6. Cahokia When we think of the life Native Americans must have led before the Europeans arrived, and indeed after we started slaughtering them all, we imagine large bands of teepee-dwelling honorable people and named their kids after whatever crap they happened to be looking at when they were born. Mind you, if that were true, my name would be Mr. Alcoholic with a camcorder. But anyway, while many Native American tribes did live in separated groups, there were actually 10 million indigenous people living in North America before Europeans came to spoil the party, and 40,000 of them lived in a Native American megacity called Cahokia. Cahokia was founded around 600 AD, on the side of the Mississippi opposite from St. Louis, and for hundreds of years it was North America's largest city and one of the biggest in the world. Its inhabitants constructed markets, meeting places, and strange mounds which you can still see today. And there is also evidence of some extremely sophisticated agricultural practices having taken place here. But why did the city suddenly disappear around 1400 AD? The answer? No one knows. In an eerie coincidence, perhaps, this was when the Maya left their civilization. So what happened? Did the Europeans get there earlier than we thought? Or was there an as yet unknown plague or natural disaster which wiped out cities across the Americas? 5. Heraklion this spectacular statue was found alongside thousands of other artifacts in Egypt's Abu Qiyar Bay in the year 2000. And when archaeologists analyzed this site, located two kilometers off the coast, under 10 meters of water, they identified it as the long-lost remains of the Egyptian city of Heraklion. Heraklion had been mentioned in historical records, but no trace of it had ever been found. And the same was said of a nearby city called Thonis, with some historians claiming they may have been different names for the same city. And they were right. It was. Heraklion slash Thonis was a prosperous city which may have been founded as early as the 12th century BC. And for a time, it was Egypt's main port. Until it mysteriously disappeared sometime between the 3rd and 2nd centuries BC. We're yet to confirm exactly why such a large and important city simply blinked out of existence. But due to its decidedly soggy present location, we think it may have sunk into the ground when the water-saturated soil it was built on turned to liquid after an earthquake. This is a threat which many coastal cities still face today, and if I was in one of those places when it happened, 
I'm pretty sure something else would turn to liquid pretty quickly too. At number 4, Mohenjo-daro. The Indus Valley people were the most woke folks of the Bronze Age period, as their society, which existed between 3300 and 1300 BC, were seemingly quite big on equality. After analyzing the ruins of many of their cities, we've discovered that they all lived in the same style of house, regardless of wealth. And they also contained no religious buildings, or iconography. And as we can see from the ruins of Mohenjo-daro in modern-day Pakistan, they also knew their onions when it came to town planning. 40,000 people reportedly lived in this beautifully designed city, which was one of the world's earliest organized settlements. But since we've yet to decipher the Indus Valley language, we don't know a great deal about how and why it was abandoned. What we do know is that Mohenjo-daro's name might mean the mound of the dead men, according to a translation using the Sindhi language. But realistically, it should have been known as the mound of the dead birds, as this may have been where the first widespread domestication of chickens took place. So we know we have Mohenjo-daro to thank for KFC, and another thing we know is that it was destroyed and rebuilt seven times. Probably by flooding, possibly by war, and each time it was rebuilt on the same site. But clearly, eight times was too many, and Mohenjo-daro was deserted for good around 1900 BC, as for reasons unknown, the Indus Valley civilization entered its period of gradual, permanent decline. 3. Chatal Huik Another of the world's earliest mass settlements was the Mesopotamian city of Chatal Huik, and it may be a good thing that this city disappeared, because its people were kind of freaky. The people who lived in this city between 7,500 and 10,000 years ago built their dwellings into a honeycomb structure, with several homes sharing the same sets of walls. So how did they get in? Through the roof, of course! Rooftops became like streets for this place, and in an odd efficiency, the ground below became a graveyard, with the locals burying family members beneath the floor of their homes. How delightful! Where did they get married? On the ceiling? Chataluik seems to have been abandoned around 5700 BC, probably when they ran out of corpse space in their living rooms. But much of its culture is known to have spread to other parts of Turkey. So while its people clearly survived elsewhere, we still don't know why they ditched this most intriguing of cities. At 2. Aslan no, we're not talking about the talking lion that lived in a wardrobe. Aslan is a controversial entry on this list, as while many Aztec legends speak of this island city as the ancient homeland of the Aztec civilization, others believe it to be a myth, like Atlantis, Camelot, and Detroit. We know that the Aztecs migrated towards Mesoamerica from Mexico in the 6th century, but where they came from is a mystery. Aslan is said to have been located somewhere north of the Mexico Valley, with some claiming it could have been founded in Utah. But as yet, we've found Diddly Squat. Which is a shame, as the discovery of the Aztec homeland might help fill in some of the blanks. You know, those blanks caused by Europeans pitching up and burning all the Aztecs' cool stuff. Yeah! Thanks, guys! That was real productive of you. And at number one, Persepolis. The remains of Persepolis lie within the borders of modern-day Iran, so it may be a little tough to go rummaging around there anytime soon. And that's a danged shame, because this once great city once contained, and may still contain, many great secrets about some of the world's earliest civilizations. We believe Persepolis was founded in 515 BC, with its ruler Darius I initiating a series of grand construction projects which took over a century to complete. His successor, Xerxes I, continued in this vein, building the colossal Gate of All Nations, some of which still stands today. 
And a little more of it might have been left standing if it weren't for a big ass fire which ravaged the city in 330 BC. This mysterious blaze may have been accidental, but there's a chance it was deliberate, as it took place at the same time as the invasion of legendary Greek conqueror, Alexander the Great. Surly old Al was a little butthurt after the Persians had burnt the Acropolis of Athens during their invasion of Greece 150 years prior, so he may have torched Persepolis as revenge. Either way, the fire destroyed many important documents, including archives of local history and the early writings of the Zoroastrian movement, much of which was written in gold ink on cow skin. That's pretty ritzy. On the few occasions archaeologists have been allowed near the site of this ancient city, they've found tantalizing pieces of history, such as stone tablets. So all we need to do now, if we want to find more hidden treasures, is make friends with Iran again. Easy peasy! And that's our list. But if you're after more delightful historical intrigue, then take a look at our recent video on seven eye-opening pieces of history they never taught you in school. Because it turns out, Chris Columbus was a real swipe.